Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jonathan here from VFX Shorts, and I'm sorry, I've been neglecting this channel, I really am sorry, and uh, I really want to get back into the swing of things, I've just been busy with uh, this summer, and um, yeah, I've, I've been saying before that I was going to be working on some motion tutorials uh, here in Motion 5, and uh, I guess it's time to start that, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do uh, shadows. And, um, Shadows is actually, uh, it's not complicated, but it's not just adding a drop shadow, as you guys will see here. Um, I'll show you, we're going to start here, we're going to make a rectangle. Nothing special about this rectangle. I'm just making it so this is my canvas, and you'll be able to see. Uh, here we're rectangle, I'm going to go to my inspector. Fill color, I'm just going to change it around a little bit, I can, uh, let's make it nice red okay so here we go we have our background rectangle is a red and then we can add some text so let's go to our text tool and we can just type in some just some text and we can you know manipulate it we'll go back to our select tool and we'll just drag it we'll line it up into center it okay so here we have our 2D layer, nothing special. We have a 2D layer upon a 2D layer. And if we just go down here, we can go to our behaviors. No, no, the, of the text. There we go. Oh, here in our text, we can drop shadow. And as you can see, there is a shadow behind it, slight shadow. And if we go back to our text properties, we can. Uh, pretty much just change the distance from the shadow and it's just pretty much just a copy and paste version of it in a different location between the first 2D layer and the second 2D layer but that's not really 2D so uh, re that's not really a shadow in 3D space it's this is just fake 3D so then we'll turn that off we don't need that and then uh, so here we have a again just like that 2D layer upon 2D layer and we we'll create a camera and we're going to switch this 3D and now it's 3D. And what we're going to do here again is we have these two objects. We're going to go to our active camera. We're going to make it a right camera. You can also make it a left, but right camera you'll be able to see. As you can see, we'll pan around here a little bit. There is our camera being projected, and then we have our 3D. Here is our image at the moment. And we can click on our adjust some text, and we can just whoops, adjust some text. And we're going to just bring this out. We're going to extrude it from the image. And if I do a left view, you guys will see. We're going to move the camera. There's a the camera now. I see it's extruded that way. Top. As you can see, this is our red rectangle. And here we have our uh, just some text, text. So we're going to switch back to the front. And I see. There would be a shadow, but we're now going to create a light. So here we have a light, which we can manipulate. We can just move this light around. Over here, we can create the increase intensity. And uh, yeah, as you see, there really isn't a shadow at the moment. Actually, this text, just for the sake of it, we're going to make the color of the text. Uh, can we? Whatever. Here it's green. And we added our light. And you think there'd be a shadow, and there should be, but you have to enable this box. So here I click shadow and the light is now producing a shadow. Actually, never mind. At the moment, this this is here's our problem. So we're gonna go switch back to our right view. There we go. Our light before was behind the text. That was our issue. And if we uh, pan around, there's our camera and there's our image. Whoops, excuse me. That was our problem. Our light was behind. So now we go back to the front. Now you see the shadow. And again, you can manipulate it. Uh, we can 
can lower the intensity a little bit. At the moment, we're now we're bringing it closer. The way we're doing this is bringing it closer to the object in 3D space. And uh, yeah. So that's how you do a real shadow. So you can do this with anything if you had an object in there. I'm just, it's just an example of the text. But yeah. So there you guys go. Quick little tutorial on how to make a real shadow in 3D space instead of uh, just dropping a shadow, which is completely fake 3D. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, I kind of just overcomplicated <laughs> the unnecessary, um, but yeah, that's fine. You guys need to know how to do this correctly, and uh, there you guys go. I'll be working on more tutorials like this. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.